Hiya everybody, it's me Julia um, and today I'm going to show you how to make some twig spider webs all for Halloween. Um, so this is a craft where you actually need to go outside and get yourself some twigs, okay? Um, any size. If you're wanting to practice I would suggest that you start with smaller twigs and also try and get them as straight as possible when you get a wee bit more confident at making this craft go for bendy twigs because you'll find it a doddle but to begin with so that you can practice find twigs about this size nice and straight you'll need some wool any color really i've tried to stick to halloween colors for mine or you can use string okay you'll need a pair of scissors and i'll show you this is what we're going to make and all we're going to do is use wool and twigs and scissors and we can hang them up around the house in time for Halloween. <gasps> so it's all stuff that you might have in the house. If you've not got wool, it is really cheap to buy a ball of wool. And obviously twigs are free. So let's show you how it's done. Okay, so first things first, what you need to do is get your three twigs. Okay. Now, what you want to do firstly is just take two of the twigs to begin with and make a cross shape like that and get your wool. This is nice big chunky wool so hopefully it works really well. And what you need to do is sit the twigs on top of the wool, still try and keep it in their cross shape and tie a wee knot. I'll try and make it as central as possible and then you just need to carefully pick it up it takes a wee bit of getting used to and you're just going to try and keep that cross shape you might need a grown-up to help you and just wind it round a couple of times and then turn it again and you're going to wind the wheel in that bit in the centre and what we're trying to do is get it nice and um, um, sturdy so that it doesn't wiggle about. See how it's wiggling about? We don't want that. We want it to be perfectly um, still and stiff so it doesn't move. Oops. So you just keep winding, winding, winding. Turn it round again. Doesn't matter if it's a wee bit messy. And wind it there. And I think that might be sturdy enough. Yep, yeah, I'll go for that. And I'll just add in the last twig and then just keep winding again and we're going to do that. So wind it about three times, turn and then do it on the other gap and keep going round until it all forms like a star shape until it's nice and solid and not jiggly wiggling about. <laughs> oh, it's got a big ball bit in the middle. Right, so there you go. There it's quite secure, I think because that's because I've chosen big thick wool. So then what you need to do, it's a bit like weaving, if you've ever done weaving before. You're going to wrap it around the first twig about three times and then just keep going round. If you feel it's secure after two, just do two, but I've been doing three in my practice ones. And just keep going round and round and round and round. Round and round. And then you can start the next level of your spider web to make it go further out. And the aim, obviously, is to go right out to the very tip of your twigs. So it looks like a real spider's web. I wonder if you hang these up when you're doing your Halloween decorations, any real spiders will go in them. Nearly there. As I say, it does take a wee bit of practice, 
to get the twigs nice and secure. But this is only my third one and look how quick I am. <laughs> And sometimes if you get jaggy twigs, you can stick the wool right in the end of it. Look, I've done it right on the end. I think that one's about done, but it doesn't need to be perfect. Perfectly symmetrical. Because if you have a wee look at spider's webs, and there's lots in my garden just now, especially when the sun's shining. And then once you think you're about done, how does that look? Looks pretty cool. You just loop it round, cut a wee bit for where you're going to hang it, and then just tie a wee knot. And there you have it. How easy was that? Look! Hang the rest of them up so you can see. So there you go. Easy free decorations for Halloween. You could have them hanging on your door handles, you could have them hanging from your window, you could have them hanging on your front door, and that'll scare all the wee geysers away. So, I hope you enjoyed that craft. It would be amazing if you make it to put some photos of your spider webs that you've made in the comments. I'd love to see them. So, happy Halloween! Have a great time! Bye!